So we're a medium-sized residency program, and I think the biggest strength of the program is our resident and the collegial environment that we have here. So when residents start off, their first two years is primarily spending a lot of time on the inpatient services. They do have inpatient psychiatric experience. They have an opportunity to work with the VA, which is right across the street. And then in their second year, they do have an opportunity to go to Fulton State Hospital. Being a larger academic center, we have that opportunity to collaborate with other specialties and that really starts at the School of Medicine. They teach collaboration and working in teamwork and the physicians are in silos uh, we can reach out for help. If you have any interest in child or adolescent psychiatry you can fast track into our fellowship program which cuts down your training from a total of six years to five years. We are like a mid-sized program. A lot of the programs that I was looking at had about six residents. We take 10 each year, which the bonus of that is that you get to spread the call load amongst more people. So that's a big plus. So a resident can expect to get some exposure to psychotherapy really from day one, primarily through didactics during the first couple of years. But the bulk of their training experience is gonna take place during their third year when uh, they come out to the outpatient clinic and they get to, again, learn by doing. So uh, we provide a lot of instruction about psychotherapy at the beginning and then they get to try it. They carry a small caseload of psychotherapy patients during their third year and get a lot of supervision while doing so. I think there's always research opportunities. Um, a lot of the attendings are involved in various research things. We, we do have a study coming up, a clinical trial involving um, psilocybin, which I think is very exciting. And so our hope is that once we kind of get this initial clinical trial off the ground, that that opens the doors for more clinical trials in the future as well. We get to see a lot of pathology, so a lot of really sick people. Kansas City has a large catchment area of like Kansas and then the metro area. St. Louis is kind of the same, but I would say that we cover everywhere in between. So people who don't have access to mental health care, um, they'll be transported like five hours away to, to come here for help. And we get to see a lot of untreated mental illness kind of in its um, most severe form, and kind of like textbook schizophrenia cases, bipolar disorder, and that's very exciting. It's really, really good for learning. And it's very rewarding when you get to help these people who have never had help before. Mizzou is a university hospital, which means that we have all the great support and resources that being part of a large university system offers us. But at the same time, because we are located in a rural setting and we have a large catch radius, we get a lot of patients from diverse states and backgrounds. And I think that can really set us apart because in addition to getting the bread and butter cases that we're gonna see in our clinical practice, we also get those once in a lifetime learning opportunities that give residents a competitive edge for when they're transitioning to being attendings. I think here at Mizzou we have a really good balance of autonomy and clinical supervision. So as a resident you get to make a lot of really important and big decisions for your patients but at the same time you know you're always under the supervision of a faculty member who is watching out for you. I think what's the most impressive thing about this program is the diversity and range of our clinical experiences. It makes it really easy for residents to find their niche and passion in psychiatry.